Good morning, everybody. No, let's see today, I really wanted to talk about the low frequency and high frequency transducers. Where to use a high frequency transducer and where to use the low frequency transducer. Okay, in general, we all know that, of course, we use a low frequency transducer for the deeper structures. And we use a high frequency transducer for the superficial or shallow or the structure which are not really deeper. They're kind of a little bit uh, close to the skin area if we're scanning uh, somebody, a patient. So uh, the question is, why do we need to use high frequency for, for superficial structures? And why do we use a low frequency for the deeper structure? This can be a question. Maybe you are having um, an exam, a board exam, maybe like SPI or some other exams for ARDMS exams or CCI exams, or maybe you're a trainer. So maybe one of the students can ask that question too, that what is the reason why I cannot use a high frequency for deeper structures and why it's not suitable or it's not correct to use a low frequency transducer for the superficial structures? Why, what is a good reason for that? Maybe somebody asked that question. So what is my opinion, my knowledge, I think, I think this will be a good answer to, to say that uh, everything is depend on the wavelength. When we have a pulse and the pulse has cycles, we all know that each pulse will be made of either two cycles or three cycles, but then we wanna know what is the length of that cycle. A cycle we all know, which is made of the two components, the compression and the refraction above the baseline, below the baseline. So now, the frequency is all about your wavelength or oh, lambda. Let me let me draw this. I think that will make it a little easier. So when we are talking, let me share my whiteboard. Okay, and let me make it a little. All right, perfect. Now, if we look to, we know all the all the pulses are either made of two cycles or three cycles. Now. If I make one of the pulses, for example, pretend it if, if this is a cycle, this is compression, rarefaction, compression, rarefaction, compression, and rarefaction. So now pretend this is one of the pulses which is made of three cycles. Now, all we are looking for, the important here is. If we look to a cycle, one complete cycle I'm talking about. So one complete cycle starts from here and ends here. So we can say this complete compression and complete refraction. So this from here all the way, coming back to this point, this distance, this distance. Let me make it a different color. Maybe I can make it brown. So from here all the way to this. That distance is called wavelength, or we can say lambda. You know, symbol, the, the symbol is like lambda, or we can say wavelength. So that wavelength in lambda, that will tell us, that will determine that you have a low frequency transducer or a high frequency transducer. Now, in low frequency transducers, our lambda, is longer. For example, if this was a high frequency transducer and it has those three cycles, now if I draw, if I draw for you guys, if we look here, and this will be also a pulse of three cycles. For example, compression, wave function, compression, wave function, compression, wave function. So this is also three cycle. Now, if we look here, you can see this is a complete cycle from this point all the way to this point. So start from this point and ends here. So that is also a cycle. Now, if we look to the distance from here, if you look at and you measure this distance from here all the way to this point, pretend it, it looks like maybe that is four millimeter, just pretend it. And if we look at here, from here, one cycle from this uh, this uh, pulse. This was a high, this was a high frequency and pretend this one was a low frequency. Now, 
this cycle start from here and ends here. So pretend it like maybe it's a two millimeter distance. So the smaller the distance, the higher the frequency. The bigger or the taller, or, or we can say the length, more lengthed distance, that will be a low frequency transition. Now, again, the questions come here. Why do we need to use a high frequency for, for, lower, for the shallow structures or superficial structures? And why do we need to use the low frequency for the deeper structure? Not only for the resolution of the picture, not only for this that we say uh, with a high frequency transducer, you get a better image quality and for low frequency transducer, you get uh, kind of a little poor quality pictures, not only this. The second thing is we all know that when we are scanning, so we see that the pulses are slowly, slowly attenuating, we can say. So now if you have a low frequency transducer, that will attenuate slow. That will take longer to be attenuated. That will lose their intensity power uh, and uh, so the, 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 um, in amplitude. So if they are low frequency, that will take longer. So that's why they can penetrate better because they are not losing their amplitude, intensity and power that easily. It take time for them. So it's still longer, we can say, the low frequency transducer. And the high frequency transducer, they will lose, they will lose their, like they, they will lose their intensity, amplitude, and the power very fast. So two reasons. Just in case maybe if somebody asks you that question, there are two reasons why do we need to use the high frequency transducer for the superficial structures. And why do we need to use the low frequency transducer for the deeper structure? Two reasons are number one, with a high frequency transducer, their wavelength is too short, very short. So the shorter the wavelength, which is the, 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 the length of one complete cycle, that the lower or shorter the wavelength is, the better the image quality is. That's one reason. And secondly, if we have low frequency transducer and high frequency. The high frequency transducer will attenuate fast, very fast. They will lose their amplitude, power, and intensity very fast. So they cannot reach to the depth, to very deeper, deeper structure. They lose their everything. They cannot reach. So that's the reason we use low frequency for the deeper structure because they attenuate slowly. So now the low frequency transducer will give me a good penetration but the resolution is not good. That's a poor resolution. It's just because their wavelength is longer. And then with the high frequency transducer, they will give you a better image quality. Why better image quality? Because their wavelength or that lambda is shorter. But the problem is they attenuate fast. And we, we want to scan our all pictures, all patients with the high frequency transducer. But unfortunately, the problem is attenuation. It attenuates too fast. And then we are not able to reach to the deeper structures. That's the reason. I know it's uh, short uh, and quick information. I hope this will help you guys. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. See you guys next.